Let's talk to Yaz Kader. He's a Palestinian American and an uncommitted delegate from the state of Washington. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. So do you think that other delegates like yourself are going to create, let's call it a stir at the DNC if and when these demands are rejected? Thank you so much for having me on, Dan. I really appreciate it. I actually think that we are not looking to do anything about dividing the party here. We are actually trying to bring the party together. Over 80% of Democrats want a permanent and immediate ceasefire. Over 60% of Democrats want to condition military aid to Israel. And so for the over 700,000 voters that voted uncommitted earlier this year, we are making sure to continue to push the message that they voted for. And that is that permanent and immediate ceasefire and that uh, conditioning military aid. We are actually sending the message that we need to bring the party together. So, so th that's not going to happen, though, as a practical matter. I mean, even if everything you're saying, even whether it's true or not true based on the numbers, it's not going to happen, right? The party is not going to shift its platform. Um, it's not going to make a fundamental statement uh, with regard to some of the issues you're talking about. So what happens then? Look, I think that a very fair starting point is that we need to meet with the senior campaign staff or with somebody within Vice President Harris's senior staff. We need to be able to have the conversation to get anywhere, and so far that hasn't happened. And let's assume that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, this comes back to my original question. I'm just trying to be practical and realistic here. I mean, I think the most realistic scenario, and, and I, I don't think you'd even disagree with this, is the most realistic scenario is that you probably won't get almost anything that you're asking for. So what happens then? You know, what happens then is we will continue to push this message. Push, push this message. The uncommitted movement has been about advocating for Gaza. The massacres that we have seen the Israeli military inflict upon the Palestinian people week after week, day after day, mm. month after month, we continue to see bombs dropped on Palestinian children in schools and mosques and churches. We will continue to talk about this even after the convention. Well, and look, but is it going to be talking about it after the convention or are you going to make a statement at the convention that would disrupt the convention and really potentially hurt Kamala Harris politically? We're all registered Democrats, so we are all not trying to hurt Vice President Harris. Again, we are not there to disrupt. We are there to send this message, to raise awareness to it, so that we can have the conversation. Did you see the, the latest video that Hamas released of uh, firing missiles from a uh, civilian area in Gaza? I have not. I know that yesterday the President Biden administration sent 20 billions in weapons to the Israeli government that has continued to massacre the Palestinian people. And that is not in line with what the Democratic base, Democratic base wants. Yeah, we we talked about it in a previous segment. That's why I was, uh, I was asking you. I mean, because it does seem that you know, you're eventually going to have to make a choice, right? It's the choice, and I mean, not just you, but you and folks like you are going to have to make a choice, which is you're either going to accept the fact that the DNC, that Vice President Harris, that the campaign are not going to get you where you want um, and accept that, or you're going to lash out and try to make the statement publicly at the DNC that you all want to make, which would be, uh, I would think from their perspective, very disruptive. And, I, and I'm still trying to figure out how you're going to make that decision. You know, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by disruptive, to be quite honest. And so I can be specific. I, always... I, I can be specific. So, so I mean, for example, during the event, uh, putting up, um, let's say, um, you know, flags in the, in the crowd, disrupting speakers who are speaking, making yourselves the focus rather than the unity that the DNC wants to portray. Yeah, the uncommitted movement doesn't necessarily have any plans to do anything like that. That is not how we're approaching this. And I think that if there are people who want to express themselves, we live in a democracy. People should be free to express themselves. We have the right to vote. If that's what people want to do, people should always vote with their conscience.
Yeah, no, there's no doubt that you have the right to do it. It's just a question of whether it's the right thing to do for your party. And, and that's something we shall, uh, we shall see with time. Uh, Yaz Cater, thank you very much for coming on, and thank you for the conversation. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.